Sure. Yeah, when you think about it, something like your cell phone, when it gets too cold, the battery might just shut off automatically. So what should electric car drivers expect in the cold air or the snow? In our final part of our winter weather series, it is time to brush up on your winter driving skills with Storm Team 5's Mike Wonka. Ah, the joys of winter driving in New England. The snow clogged roads, the snow plow conga lines, and of course, road salt, slush, and potholes. Ugh. Definitely a challenge to drive in the winter. David Geisinger is a real car guy. He's a board member here at the Lars Anderson Auto Museum in Brookline, where three of his vintage off-road rally cars are on display. It does not have heat for a winter driving vehicle. It is not optimal. And at the museum, you can see some of the earliest examples of EVs. We have a 1908 Bailey Electric. What's interesting about this car is it was built right here in Massachusetts. Electric vehicles have come a long way. And even though this Rivian R1T looks like it's ready to plow through the snow, winter cold adds a few twists. In the cold weather, the batteries do tend to lose some of their capacity. It's something that you have to monitor and ensure that you're driving with more than 20% of your battery life. It's always important to clear snow and ice off your car. It's especially important today because modern vehicles have dozens of sensors all over them. They're so important to the operation and drive mode of the vehicle that clearing the, the, the car is really important. Electric vehicles use regenerative braking to feed electricity back into the batteries. Unfortunately, that drag on the wheels, unchecked, can produce a skid on icy roads. Many vehicles now have a snow mode where it actually allows you to adjust the regenerative braking down. If all of this sounds too complicated, and you're thinking, well, I don't want to drive an electric vehicle in the winter, consider this one huge advantage. Most of these have motors on all four wheels, which means you have built-in four-wheel drive. And the extra batteries, they add a tremendous amount of weight to it, which is great for plowing through deep snow. It's also a good idea to have a survival pack in the back of your car, maybe a shovel or a blanket. I like to throw a candy bar in there, not because I'm worried about having to survive, but the chocolate tastes awful good while you're waiting for the tow truck driver to pull you out of that snowdrift. For Storm Team 5, I'm meteorologist Mike Wonkum, WCVB News Center 5.